The Trump administration will seek to sell Taiwan at least five and possibly seven advanced weapon systems, according to recent reports by Reuters and The New York Times. Here is what you need to know. Reuters reports the administration on Monday, October 12th and Tuesday, October 13th notified Congress of its intention to sell five weapon systems to Taiwan. The multi-billion dollar deal would include the M142 HIMARS, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, Slammer Long-Range Air-to-Ground Missiles, External Sensor Pods for Taiwan's F-16s, MQ-9 Drones, and Harpoon Block II Anti-Ship Missiles. The M142 HIMARS, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, is a multiple launch rocket system on a wheeled chassis. It fires the MLRS family of munition rockets and artillery missiles. The HIMARS can hit targets up to 300 kilometers or 190 miles away and would greatly expand the range of Taiwan's artillery. The Standoff Land Attack Missile Expanded Response, or SLAMMER, is an air-launched cruise missile that can attack targets on land and sea at a range of 278 kilometers or 150 nautical miles. It could be fired from Taiwan's F-16s, which would also receive external sensor pods for the real-time transmission of imagery and data from the aircraft back to ground stations. The MQ-9BC Guardian drone is an unarmed maritime variant of the MQ-9 Reaper. The Sea Guardian can be used to help track and hunt surface ships and submarines. The Harpoon Block II is an over-the-horizon anti-ship missile that would serve as a coastal defense cruise missile. Though not included in the reported deal, Taiwan has also been seeking to buy the M109A6 Paladin, a self-propelled 155mm howitzer. The Trump administration reportedly also wants to sell sea mines to Taiwan. Under the Taiwan Relations Act passed by Congress in 1979, the U.S. is committed to providing self-defense weapons to the country. The news has outraged China, which covets Taiwan, and says it will one day take over by force if necessary. Here's a recap of how China has escalated tensions with Taiwan and the U.S. in 2020 and how Washington and Taipei have responded. China is throwing a tantrum over a visit to Taiwan by another high-level U.S. official. Here's what you need to know. Two Chinese aircraft flew into Taiwanese airspace on Wednesday, September 16th. The incursion came in advance of Thursday's visit to Taiwan by Under Secretary of State Keith Cratch, the highest ranking U.S. cabinet member to visit Taiwan since 1979. Two Shangxi Y 8 anti submarine aircraft briefly entered Taiwan's air defense identification zone early on Wednesday, the Defense Ministry said on Thursday. Taiwan deployed fighter jets and issued radio warnings to ward off the Chinese planes. Also on Wednesday, a Chinese warship sailed just 24 nautical miles from Taiwan's east coast before it disappeared early Thursday morning, Taiwan Central News agency reported. And on Tuesday, China fired a Long March 11 HY-2 rocket over Taiwan from a platform in the Yellow Sea, according to the Chinese state-affiliated Global Times. China has dramatically escalated incursions into Taiwanese airspace in recent weeks. On September 9th, 30 Chinese fighter planes and seven Chinese warships conducted joint air and sea exercises in Taiwan's southwestern air defense identification zone, Taiwan Central News Agency reported. Under Secretary of State Keith Cratch is expected to discuss weapon sales during his time in Taiwan. According to reports in the New York Times and Reuters, the Trump administration is pushing the sale of seven major weapon systems, including cruise missiles Taiwan could fire from its F-16 to hit targets in China. The New York Times identified five of the weapon systems in a recent report. These are the AGM-84HK Slammer, an air-launched cruise missile, surveillance drones based on an unarmed version of the Reaper, a truck-based rocket artillery system made by Lockheed Martin, land-based harpoon anti-ship missiles, and sea mines. Experts are starting to seriously worry about war between the U.S. and China. Here is what we know so far. The U.S. and China have conducted numerous exercises in the Pacific in recent weeks, stoking fears of a looming confrontation over Taiwan. Over the last three weeks, China has announced four separate military exercises in the Bohai Gulf, the East Sea, the Yellow Sea, and the South China Sea, the South China Morning Post reported on Monday. The PLA also held major exercises near Taiwan in mid-August to safeguard national sovereignty. Taiwan took the unusual step of announcing its surface-to-air missiles had tracked approaching Chinese fighters, as U.S. Health Secretary Alex Azar visited the country earlier this month. On Tuesday, August 25th, Beijing accused the U.S. of sending a U-2 spy plane to trespass on live fire exercises being conducted by China in the Yellow Sea that same day, according to the state-run Global Times. On August 15th, Washington sailed the USS Mustin destroyer through the Taiwan Strait, the U.S. 7th Fleet said, just days after a strike group led by the USS Ronald Reagan conducted operations in the South China Sea. 
And in the latest salvo, China on Wednesday, August 26th, test fired two missiles, including a carrier killer DF-26B from Qinghai and Zhejiang provinces into the sea between Hainan and the Paracel Islands, according to a report in the Associated Press. Speaking to the South China Morning Post, Colin Ko, a research fellow at Singapore's Nanyang Technological University, said Beijing conducted the four military exercises at nearly the same time to send out both political and operational signals. The first relates to demonstrating resolve in keeping up with peacetime combat preparations in the eyes of both domestic public and external audiences, Ko said. The move would be primarily directed at the recent spate of U.S. and allied military activities in those areas. Operationally, it's to showcase the PLA's ability to carry out major mobilization of forces for training across multiple sea areas, which also highlights that the PLA isn't affected in any way by the pandemic. Two U.S. aircraft carriers conducted drills at the South China Sea in a significant show of force, according to the Navy. CNN reports that the exercise on July 4th was the first in six years to involve dual U.S. carrier strike groups in the maritime region. The carriers transited from the Philippine Sea for drills that were seen as a challenge to China's own drills at the Paracel Islands, which saw the firing of an anti-ship missile the previous day. U.S. Navy Institute News reports that Chinese warships observed the carriers. The U.S. carrier strike force consisted of the nuclear-powered warriors Nimitz and Reagan, with more than 60 aircraft each, supported by Arleigh Burke-class guided missiles destroyers and Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers. The Paracel Islands are an archipelago in the disputed South China Sea. China has laid claims to the region. Areas of the South China Sea are also claimed by Taiwan, the Philippines, and Vietnam. The South China Sea is strategically important because it is one of the world's busiest maritime regions. The dueling exercises were followed by a war of words. China's state-run Global Times tweeted, the U.S. carriers are at the pleasure of the PLA. The U.S. Navy responded by saying, and yet, there they are. As the world is distracted by the coronavirus pandemic, China has stepped up military activities all over the place aimed at intimidating or provoking its neighbors. There was Monday's attack in the Himalayas, pressures in Malaysia and Indonesia in the South China Sea, the ramming of a Vietnamese fishing boat last week. But we're particularly worried about what now looks like a deliberate pattern of escalations over the Taiwan Strait. Here is what you need to know. Taiwan's Air Force on June 17th again warned off Chinese warplanes that approached the country, the Defense Ministry said, reporting the fourth such intrusion in just nine days. The Chinese J-10, a fighter jet, and Y-8, a turboprop surveillance aircraft, entered Taiwan's air defense identification zone to the southwest of the country on Wednesday. Taiwanese fighter planes issued a verbal warning to the Chinese aircraft to leave, and the Chinese planes immediately left the air defense identification zone. The latest incursion came just one day after a J-10 fighter entered Taiwan's air defense identification zone from the southwest. It was issued radio warnings to leave and then escorted out of Taiwanese airspace. That followed a flight in the same area on June 12th by a Chinese Y-8, which was issued a verbal warning by Taiwan's air force to leave its airspace. The Y-8 flight came only a few hours after Taiwan announced it had conducted missile tests at two locations off its eastern coast. Taiwan did not say what missiles were tested, but Tian Kong-3 surface-to-air missiles and Yongfeng land attack cruise missiles were tested in the same area in April. Such incursions were rare until a year ago, when in March of 2019, two Chinese J-11 fighter jets crossed over the median line in the Taiwan Strait for the first time in years. Beijing also sailed its Shandong aircraft carrier through the strait in December, shortly before Taiwan's presidential election. Amidst a deadly global pandemic, China is planning to rattle sabers against Taiwan with major military exercise, according to the Japanese press. China's People Liberation Army Navy plans to conduct a large-scale amphibious assault drill off Hainan Island in August. Citing unnamed Chinese sources, the Japan Times reports the drill will involve landing ships, hovercraft and helicopters, while the carrier Shandong has been deployed in Hainan since December last year. According to the Japan Times, the exercise is designed to simulate a Navy and Marines attack on the Taiwan-held Pratas, a strategically important islet that sits astride China's military egress from Hainan to the Pacific Ocean. 
Tensions between Beijing and Taipei rose after Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen was elected into office in 2016 on a wave of popular anger against the pro-Beijing policies of her predecessor Ma Ying-jeou. According to Reuters, Taiwan in April announced plans to buy arms from France to upgrade its fleet of six French-made Lafayette-class frigates. Responding to protests from Beijing, France's foreign ministry suggests China should focus on battling COVID-19 instead. En anglais, it means go pound the sand. The U.S. Naval Institute reports a U.S. Navy Arleigh Burke-class destroyer made a transit through the Taiwan Strait to warn Beijing's leadership against taking aggressive action in the region. The Japan Times reports U.S. electronic warfare aircraft may have passed the strait 14 times in April alone. According to Taiwan's state-run central news agency, a Chinese Y-8 aircraft flew into Taiwan's air defense identification zone before being headed off by fighter jets on April 8. This is the seventh time Chinese military planes flew near Taiwan's airspace this year. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.